Turn that volume up. You know you want it. It's time for Women's Basketball TV with former NCAA champion, WNBA champion, business mogul and national TV personality, Fran Harris. State came to play. Let's not act like LSU had a bad game. Flau J. Johnson had a good game. She was one of the bright marks for LSU, but let's give credit where credit is due, and that is the Mississippi State by the sink right now. They don't have a point guard that's really the nucleus to everything that happens on the floor. Haley Van Lith should have stayed at Louisville. She's having an okay season, but the transition to point guard, I don't know what she thought it was going to be, but it has not turned out extremely well for Haley Van Lith. Half the time, it feels like Haley Van Lith is an afterthought on offense. And that cannot happen for a team that wants to get to the Final Four. Not saying LSU is not going to get to the Final Four, but unless they start to create some better synergy and energy and cohesion around the five on the floor, it's going to be very, very difficult. On the other hand, Mississippi State was in sync. They were like the elves on the assembly line at the North Pole. They passed it up. They gave up the ball. They made one more pass. They looked completely in tune and in sync with one another. And as a result, they won the game 77-73. But let's take a look at the data. What does the data say? Well, when I dig into the numbers, here's what I see for the LSU Tigers. I see a lot of heavy minutes. That's not that unusual for teams this, at this point in the season. Now, if we're just going to take the numbers for face value Angel Reese had a solid game, 37 minutes, 7 of 17, 6 of 8 from the free throw line, 10 rebounds, 18 rebounds total, 5 steals, 2 assists, didn't foul out, 20 points. That's a solid line. Can't complain a whole lot about that. Anissa Morrow, 6 of 18, 1 of 3 from 3-point land, 6 rebounds, 14 rebounds, 6 rebounds, 14 points. Solid night for her. Michaela Williams, 5 of 8, 11 points, 35 minutes. Solid night for her. Flage, 37 minutes, 8 of 11. I thought she had the best night of everybody from an energy standpoint. 18 points, 4 rebounds. Van Lith, 1 of 6, eh, not great. 0 of 4 from 3-point land, 2 of 2 from the free throw line, and 4 points. Not a great line for HVL. And then let's look at the bench. Not a whole lot from that bench. The key to getting deep in the playoffs is going to be your bench. We're not deep in the playoffs yet, but I'm starting to pay attention to the lack of bench that I'm seeing on the purple and gold team. You got to get two more people in the mix. This 37, 39, 35, 37, 31 minute production is cool before we get into heavy, heavy second half of conference play, but that's going to start to wear on the team in about a week. From experience, you hit that February one week, you hit the first week of February, you're tired, it's harder to recover, you got to have more bench strength. LSU, was, LSU will have to figure out what their bench formula is going to be because 37, 39, 35, 37, 31 is a lot of load for players heading into the second half of conference. And then you got to do the SEC conference tournament. And then you got to do playoffs. That's a lot of load. The lack of bench is starting to be a telltale sign for what might happen to LSU heading into playoffs. All right, let's turn our attention to Mississippi State. Similar numbers in terms of minutes played. But if you look all the way down, Rogers, Miracle Shepard, 28, 25 minutes. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I was just saying is missing at LSU. You got five players who started playing, three of them playing 30 minutes, and the others 22, mid-20s, and then the other, the two on the bench, mid-20s. That's what you're looking for, seven people playing, playing, seven people playing an average of like 26, 27 minutes. That was the difference in the game, and they weren't just playing. They weren't just taking up a uniform. You're talking about Miracle Shepard, who had a great game, six of nine, 12 points, uh, five assists, four rebounds, right? Miracle, miracle. The freshman was, was a miracle tonight. Rogers, six of 10, 19 points off the bench. But LSU couldn't do anything with, with Jordan. 
they couldn't do a dang thing with Jordan. So it's one of those nights where Jordan had nine of 17, three of three from three point line, three of four from the free throw line, 24 points, five steals. They couldn't do anything with her. Big difference in tonight's game, the bench. And if I'm Kim Mulkey, I am concerned about the lack of production that the people on the bench are giving me right now. Mississippi State, white out in, in Stark Vegas tonight. The fans came out, sold out. They were ready. Coach had them prepared. But they beat LSU for a couple reasons. Number one, great game plan. Number two, they were on fire. And number three, they had seven dogs literally playing extremely well the entire game. When one person went out, they lost nothing from the bench. Big flashing red sign for LSU right now. They got to get their bench together. In the meantime, congratulations to the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Fun game, fun to watch. Going to be fun watching it heading into SEC tournament. Thanks for tuning in to Women's Basketball TV with Fran Harris, the most provocative and entertaining women's basketball show on earth. Be sure to click that like, share and notification button so you don't miss a moment. We'll see you tomorrow.